Hello. Here's another little snippet of me reading from Marilyn Duckworth's novel, Married Alive, written in 1985. I hope you'll enjoy the snippet, and I hope you'll go to YouTube and listen to the whole story. Chapter 7 Sydney's house is built in the crescent of a white sanded bay. It sits solidly against a hillside, looking down on lesser dwellings, holiday batches which are little more than sheds and lean-tos, renovated and tarted up into homes. Sydney's grandparents originally owned much of this land, but sold it off in small lots after the First Depression. There is still a large exotic garden separating the house from neighbours, and on the hillside, a belt of reserve land protects rabbit, opossum and wild pig. Francie looks at the house and then at Sydney. How could you leave all this? Lois was in it, wasn't she? And when I left, the place was filled with squalling brats. Your children? He has spoken so coldly, she wonders if her guess is wrong, but he nods. Where are they now? In care, I expect, like most kids. I can't remember where. No doubt someone will remind me when the bills need paying. And Lois had all this to herself until... Yes, you can see why I had to come back. Sydney has parked the van in a carport at the base of the property. He and Francie fill their arms with boxes, hang duffel and shoulder bags around their necks and head for the house. The way is up a clay path, badly gravelled and sprouting with weeds. Dandelion, oxalis, wandering willy. The smell hits them as they round a corner at the back of the house. Francie wrinkles her nose. Sydney stops short and looks up the bank at an outside room which is joined to the house by covered steps. Oh no, he says. What is it? It smells like something died. It does, doesn't it? What is it? she asks again. And when he doesn't reply, has an animal got shut in there? Did Lois have a cat? There's a freezer in that shed. If the power was turned off, anything in it would go rotten. I didn't think. How do you mean? You didn't turn the power off. You weren't here, were you? I didn't think the cops would be so careless, says Sydney. I suppose they thought they were being careful, turning off the power.